The Duchess of Sussex, 40, recently made an appearance on her friend Ellen's, 63, talk show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, and spoke about life in California, Archie and husband Prince Harry. However, after her interview, sources claim the royal mother of two may follow in Ellen's footsteps and become a talk show host herself. According to a source close to the Sussexes, the Duchess has set her sights on her new dream job which may see the royal boost her popularity and power. A source told, Meghan was rejuvenated by the whole Ellen experience and came home excited about what a dream job it would be for herself. The idea of picking whoever she wants to interview, then having plenty of fun whilst addressing the topics she cares about, is starting to really appeal, especially as it will boost her popularity and power in Hollywood. From a branding and commercial point of view it's a no-brainer and there's been a lot of interest from the networks already. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped away from being working members of the royal family last year and now live in California with their two children, two-year-old Archie and newborn Lilibet. The royal pair have major deals with companies including Netflix, Spotify and Apple TV and their first Netflix project was announced in the summer. The Sussexes remain busy and Meghan has released a children's book, The Bench, while Harry made the bombshell announcement that he will be releasing a memoir about his life in early 2022. However, Meghan may be looking at expanding her ever-growing resume. The source continued, if the past few years have taught Meghan anything, it's to be confident in herself and stay true to her roots and core beliefs. She's proud of her entertainment background and loves being around fellow celebrities. Meghan's proud to have brought a lot of joy and fun into people's lives and she plans to build on this, it's just figuring out the hows and whens. But right now, hosting a show of her own has a lot of appeal. She could go all the way with this. There's talk of her being the new Oprah. Besides, Meghan Markle's top advisor has been working behind the scenes to promote the Duchess's pet issue and get paid leave legislation passed using her links to the White House. Genevieve Roth, a senior strategic advisor for the Archule Foundation, has lobbied the White House and members of Congress as part of her job with nonprofit advocacy group PL Plus US. PL Plus US spokesperson Neil Shroka confirmed the group have collaborated with her, Roth and the Duchess's team on the issue of paid leave, but declined to give details. The advocacy group's lobbying includes calls and emails with the co-chair of the White House Gender Policy Council Jennifer Klein as well as staffers at the Office of Public Engagement, a Democratic strategist with ties to the Biden administration told Politico. In October, Megan penned a 1,030-word letter asked U.S. Congress to consider making paid family leave law for all Americans. The Duchess then caused controversy by cold-calling U.S. senators on their private phones and using her royal title to urge them to vote in favor of the legislation. Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito, quoted in Politico, said about her call with the Duchess of Sussex, I'm in my car. I'm driving. It says caller ID blocked. Honestly. I thought it was Senator, Joe, Manchin. His calls come in blocked. And she goes Senator Capito? I said, yes. She said, this is Megan the Duchess of Sussex. Senator Capito added that she did not know how Meghan Markle got her number. Another, Republican Senator Susan Collins, told reporter Marianne Levine, I was happy to talk with her. But I'm more interested in what the people of Maine are telling me about it. She added, much to my surprise, she called me on my private line and she introduced herself as the Duchess of Sussex, which is kind of ironic. Meghan Markle also made her commitment to ensuring employees are entitled to paid leave in a recent interview with stand-up comedian Ellen DeGeneres. She said, People truly forget that or don't even know it's one of only six wealthy countries in the world that does not mandate and have a federal paid leave program. I will do everything I can to make sure we can implement that for people.